Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is me, your hyper plays today, back with another video on the channel. And in this video, I'm bringing you guys another GTA 5 modding tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to install Script Hook V version 2802.0. This just now released today, and I'm trying to get a video out uh, to inform you guys that Script Hook V has updated, okay? Today is the 18th, December 18th, 2022, and just updated today. So, uh, yeah. So, um, without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. But before we hop straight into the video, I want to thank all of you guys for the support you guys have shown me in the last few videos that I have made. And, um, yeah, so, um, my first video got like 12, like 12,000 views, and I was completely shocked, but, um, if you guys want to add my Discord, my Discord is in the link in the description. I'm also thinking about starting a Discord server of my own to uh, with a support team and stuff to help you guys, you know, if you guys need help with the tutorials. But uh, before we get into the video, I want to make a shout out to Rojas. If I'm pronouncing your name wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if any of you had trouble with the uh, sign out uh, problem, uh, this is the man y'all need to contact. Alright, uh, he helped me, and I could also help y'all, you know. Um, his Instagram, I'm gonna leave in the description below. You guys can go follow him, show him some support, because he did help me help you. Alright, so, uh, yeah, go follow him, um, and yeah, let's hop straight into the video. So, the link for Scriptic V is going to be left in the description below. Before y'all start flooding my comment section, Asking where is the download link? It is left in the description below. Okay, so uh, yeah, go in the description below before you start flooding my comments and look in the description and you will see Script V. Unless you can just find it on your own by going up to the search bar and you know type in Script V. All right. So before we begin with anything else, what we're gonna want to do is minimize that. Okay. Now you're gonna want to go to your GTA 5, wherever that may be. Okay. For me, it's Steam. You're going to want to verify your game integrity, okay? Because as of right now, we're running on an old version, and you don't want that, okay? You want to be running on the latest. You can run on the latest. You can do that now because, yeah. So what you're going to want to do is go wherever your thing might be. For me, I'm going to go on Steam. I'm going to right-click, go to Manage, go to, uh, actually, I'm going to go to Properties. My bad properties i'm gonna go to local files and i'm gonna click verify integrity of game files click that it is going to verify my files verify everything in my whole entire game it's basically going to if i have any missing files it's going to replace them and with gta 5 since it's running on an old version right now since script hook decides to update in the middle of the week which i mean i'm glad it's updating now instead of like you know, two weeks from now, because, uh, I was expecting it to be a while. But, uh, yeah. Script TV has finally updated. And it was actually not that long. It was, like, three days, maybe four days at max. Um, yeah, it's finally updated, and I'm very happy it has. Uh, so we can now all get back to playing the updated version. And the, uh, latest version of GTA 5. And, uh, you don't have to worry about your game signing you out anymore until, of course, the next upload or update, uh, for GTA 5 comes out. And, uh, then you have to worry about coming to my channel and checking out my new videos on it. I will be keeping y'all posted every time a new one comes out and I will be teaching you guys how to fix it. It's basically going to be the same every single time, you know, just, uh... If I was you, I would save the files that I provided in the link in the description of the last video. I would save those files. Because at any given point, that mega file, the website could crash. And then all of those files would be deleted. So if I was you, I would save those files to your uh, computer so you'll, you have a backup file. You know, So every time GTA 5 comes up with an update, all you have to do is place those files in a mega file in your GTA 5 main directory. Like I did in the last video, okay? Because uh, I can't promise that the mega file or the mega download will completely vanish from Google Chrome. I cannot promise that. If I could, I would. <laughs> but I can't. So you guys are going to have to rely on me or rely on yourself to fix your game files when they come out. Okay? But, uh, yeah. So uh, this might take a little bit. 
I will see you guys when it gets done. Okay, so as you guys see, it did say three files failed to validate and will be reacquired. With that, those three files, what those three files are is GTA, GTA 5, and GTA 5 Launcher. The files that we replaced in the last video, that's what those three files are. Okay? So what it's doing, what's this going to do is it's going to replace those files. So don't freak out <laughs> and say, why is my GTA 5 downloading again? It's not downloading it again. It's reinstalling your latest versions. Because when we uh, did those files, it's going to... Yeah, it's, it basically is reinstalling the missing files that we deleted and uh, installed and replaced. So uh, it's going to reinstall those, and I will see. It's only taking 1.36 gigabytes, okay? So uh, I will see you guys when that is done. Okay, so it's almost done. So what we're going to want to do is minimize that while it's finishing up. And you can now go to the Scriptic V. And what you're going to want to do is click download. Okay, it's going to download it, and it takes very shortly. It will download it in about <laughs> three seconds. All right. So once you download that, and make sure you guys verify your game, okay? Make sure you guys verify your game. We can uh, go ahead and open that up, and we can close our. We can safely close our Chrome. Close this. All right. So now what you're gonna want to do? Open up Bin. Okay, you have all these files now. But first, what you're going to want to do is pull up this to the second hand side, okay? Looks like so. Now, it should be done. It is done. You can open up your GTA 5 main directory, okay? Browse local files. Now, here we go. We can minimize this. And now we have uh, Scriptic V on our right hand side. And we have GTA 5 main directory right here. So, what you're going to want to do, you want to want to click on, right click on GTA 5. Go to properties, go to details, and you should have 2802.0. Make sure all of your GTA 5s are up to date, okay? You will see that it's 725.22, but GTA 5 right here, that's the most important one. That will say 12-18-2022 at 6.23 p.m. or whatever time you installed it. Okay, now, what you're going to want to do now is pull back up that uh, scripted V. Put over the side like this. Now here's what you're going to do, okay? If you have native trainer, you're going to want to drag and drop that. If not, then you're not going to do that. So you can also select these, whichever ones you want to select. You don't want to do that. That's not because you ain't dragging all three. Hold down your left control key. Left control. Hold that down. Okay, I'm holding it. Now you can select with your mouse anything you want. Okay? Now what you're going to want to do now is you can not, you can stop holding control and you're going to want to drag and drop these into your GTA 5 main directory. Now look, I click this right here. All right, you're going to see that this is the old one. This is the newest one. That's scripted V, the newest one. You want to select that. Okay? Continue. There we go. All right, we uh, successfully did that and you can refresh GTA 5 main directory. And you can launch your game. You can safely close this. And now you can launch your game. And I will see you guys once we load into the game. Okay, so once you guys are in the game. Excuse me, because I have not completed the prologue yet. <laughs> I've not completed the first mission yet, because this is a brand new account, like I said in the previous video. Let me move myself just into that cup holder, because I don't want to spill it. Alright, so what you're going to want to do now is you're in the game. Make sure your mods are working by clicking F8. Alright, it works. Okay, we are on the latest version. Okay, of Scriptic V and your game should be working perfectly fine. Alright, now for uh, people that play on... Make sure it's, yeah, it's working. For people that play on... Um, for people that play on uh, Native Trainer, click F3. I don't have Native Trainer installed, sadly, so I click F3. Nothing happens. But F8, <laughs> perfectly fine. F10, F9, I'm at. Perfectly fine. Let me just delete all these guys. I'm gonna move them, actually. I can actually just make this dude invisible. What if I delete all the people? What happens? 
I don't really care. Alright. Well, uh, that's going to wrap it up for the video, video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. Turn on. Um, turn on notifications and it's been your boy hyper plays and i will see you guys in the next video until then stay safe have a nice christmas and uh yeah peace